Hey friends, in these three exercises, we're going to cover the beginning of John Mayer's soft rock hit, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. Here's what I've done so far. The point of this is not to prove that you can sound exactly like John Mayer on a virtual instrument. No plugin can do that. But I want to challenge you to use these exercises to create your own arrangements and get the most expression out of your instrument. For this exercise, we're going to create a fairly simple second guitar riff. This is going to be the accompaniment for the intro, which I've split into part two and three. For this riff, I'm using AGSC with a neck pickup for a very smooth, silky tone. For the amp, I'm using a 65 twang with a little bit of overdrive, not too much. I have some of the high mids scooped out, and then I have some reverb. I'll leave the preset in the download section. Now let's go into Riffer. I found that it's best to create blank templates for the style of music you commonly make. This song is in 4-4 and 65 beats per minute. But for the purpose of expedience, I'm going to duplicate this track and copy the work I did since programming involves problem solving, I don't want to waste time trying to remember my work. But I do want to explain my process and I want you to create the same track or even make it better. This song is in the key of C sharp minor. So our first chord is going to be C sharp minor. Our second chord is going to be an A major on the second bar. And then E major is going to hit on the end of two. Oh, by the way, this riff is very soft, so in order to save time not having to make every note softer, you can go down here, and this is the default insert note velocity, and I'm going to set this to about 60. I think that's a good velocity. So on the E1 string, I could either drag it up to C sharp 2, or... Click in a note, go to this menu, and then click it in from here. I think I want the notes to be a lot softer than that, so I'm going to make the default 50. This note is going to sustain until beat 2, and then we have a C-sharp minor chord. Let's listen to this one. That's a little too low. I need it a little higher. So I'm going through the variations. That's good right there. Now I'm not going to strum all of the strings, so I'm going to delete some of these. And this is going to be a little louder. And then there's a little riff right here. Let's listen to it. So it starts on this string right here, on beat three. F sharp. to G sharp. And then we have the A major here with a bass note first. And then on B2, we have that chord. So we're going to go to our string line. We're going to hit A major. And that's too low. I think that sounds good. 
Again, I don't want all the notes in here. It's going to sound too thick. So I'm going to get rid of these bottom notes. And then an E major on the and of two. I want the G sharp on top. There you go. That's good right there. And this is going to go all the way to beat four. And then we have a little lick right here. Now this is something I made up. All right, so now that we've got our notes and rhythms down, we have our dynamics down. I could make this a little bit louder. Not too loud. This is supposed to be really soft. All right, now I'm going to work on articulations. So this is sustain. I'm going to leave that alone. This F sharp slides up to this G sharp. So this F sharp is going to be a legato. And then this G sharp is going to slide out. So we're going to go over here. And it's going to slide out. These aren't the note endings, and these are the way they begin. Now, by default, the strums are set to 12 milliseconds. And you can see that right here. That's a very fast strum. I want this last strum to be a lot slower. So this one I set it to 221 milliseconds. You can play with it and see what you like the best. And then we have a little legato right here. Let's listen to that so far. Cool. And remember, when we drag this into our DAW, these notes are going to be a lot shorter. So they're not going to sustain like this. Now, between these chord changes, I want a string slide noise. So I'm going to do it right before the chord. I double click on the effects line. And then I, then I click scratch. I want that to be a little louder. And then I want one right here, right, be, right in between. Okay, that sounds good. Now let's throw it in here. This is going to come in on measure seven. I'm going to go ahead and mute this. Sorry, it comes in on measure six. And I think that can be looped with that little, that little riff right there, little passing tone. Now I'm going to get rid of that last measure. Maybe I'll keep the notes and then I'm going to drag it over here. I like it as a pickup. And you can adjust the velocities, um, make it a lot softer if you want. I have this pan to the right because I have the lead guitar pan to the left. I like that stereo image. Okay, I'll see you in the next exercise where we're going to start to construct the intro.